Welcome to day 20 of Vlogmas. Wow, we are five days away from Christmas. I think saying that out loud actually makes me so excited and it's like actually hitting me that Christmas is in five days, that's crazy. Um, but today I thought I would try my hand at baking, which I am not a baker at all. Um, so I'm a little nervous, but I have a feeling this will turn out good just because the ingredients sound really good So from the title you guys would already be able to tell I'm going to make this like fig and red wine cake with Honey, so it should be really sweet and yummy. It's kind of like an elevated sexier version of a fruit cake. So we'll see how this goes. It's gonna have dried figs, honey, red wine, some powdered sugar on top. So it should be really yummy. Um, but yeah, I will show you guys what it looks like and hopefully it goes well. But if you're interested in anything that I use to bake the cake or anything that I'm wearing or anything that you see in the background, then most of it is linked for y'all in the description box. So make sure you go check that out. So yeah, without further ado, let's get baking. Now we have our ingredients. So we have about a cup of dried figs. We have half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, quarter teaspoon of ground cloves, half a cup of unsalted butter, one cup of honey plus extra for the top, one egg, um, 1 1.6 cups of flour. I might just do like 1.5, we'll see. And then four and a half teaspoons of baking powder. So the reason why I have so much baking powder is because I actually don't have baking soda. So if you wanna follow the recipe exactly, you should do one and a half teaspoons of baking powder with three teaspoons of baking soda. I just don't feel like going to the store to go get like just baking soda. So they said you could do like a three to one ratio because baking powder is not as strong as baking soda. So that's why I have four and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Again, we're experimenting over here, so we will see how this goes, but no matter what, I feel like it's gonna taste good, so that's all that matters, right? Um, I'm just preheating the oven right now to 325 degrees Fahrenheit, and first thing we need to do is prepare our figs with the spices and red wine. So I'm gonna just cut these figs in half. These are the black mission figs that I picked up from the farmer's market the other weekend. So you can cut them up smaller if you want, but I actually want like a big chunk of fig in it. So I'm just gonna cut them in half. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it is so pretty and jammy. So I actually saw this recipe from Leonora Smee. So if you guys follow any like British influencers, she made this cake as part of one of her Vlogmas videos. And I just love the combination of like the red wine and the fig, I think that's what really sold me. So um, I just have like this mini little bottle here of Pinot Noir. All right, I wanted to bring you guys a little bit closer so you guys can see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna add our figs and then our wine. Also gonna add our spices right now. Oh, that smells so good. So half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon quarter teaspoon of ground cloves. So I actually have whole cloves here that I need to grate in. So it's probably like one. Okay, so that took a while, but I just added um, a quarter teaspoon of clove. All right, I was trying to go for like the moody vibes with the dim lighting, but we're actually losing sunlight and it's getting a little bit too dark. So as you can see, the figs have plumped up a lot. We actually need to let this cool for 10 minutes before we add our butter and honey. So I'm just gonna let this sit. It's been about 10 minutes, and as you can see, the figs soaked up the wine even more. There's like barely anything on the bottom. So we are now gonna add our butter and our honey. We'll scrape off every last bit of honey off of this knife. All right, now we're just gonna combine all of the wet ingredients together. All right, so the butter has nicely melted in with the honey. We have our figs with the red wine. 
the ground clove and ground cinnamon. And I taste it a little bit, but I'm gonna try it again. It's so good. Mmm, oh my god. All of these flavors together is so, so yummy. And I actually use salted butter, like the salted Kerrygold butter, even though the recipe calls for unsalted. I don't mind, like I like my desserts to be a bit salty. Like if you guys saw me make the homemade healthy Snickers, I put quite a bit of sea salt on top of them. So I kind of like that sweet and salty combination, but you could always use unsalted butter if you prefer. But a lot of baking recipes call for a pinch of salt anyways to bring out the flavors. So I feel like that does the trick without me having to add salt if the butter is already salted. Okay, that looks really good. Now we are going to add our egg. So as I was stirring this, this was resting for about like 10 minutes. You just want to make sure it's not hot because you don't want to cook your egg and create scrambled eggs in your batter. So we are just going to add one egg to this. And mix that in. You guys, I'm getting so excited. Okay, so the egg is nicely incorporated. It's nice and cooled down. So we're just gonna set this off to the side. And then we're gonna do our drying. I just wanna sift all the ingredients really quick. So we're just gonna take our flour, put it through. This is just like a colander. <laughs> I'm gonna use that to strain my dry ingredients. So we have this, four and a half teaspoons of baking powder, four and then a half baking powder. And we are gonna sift this so that everything is really nice and fine. And that, do you guys see how they there's like little bits there? We don't want that in our batter. Now everything is nice. And fine, now we're going to combine the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients. So take this and pour it into our bowl. And now we're just gonna take everything and mix it together until everything is nicely combined. I'm getting so excited. I have a feeling my cake is a little dense just because it's looking more like a dough than a batter. But again, I'm not really using baking soda, so my cake was already gonna be a little bit wonky, I'm assuming. But again, I feel like it's gonna taste good. So there, you could see the bits of fig. Now I'm gonna add our cake batter to this, I think it's a nine by nine baking dish. Do I need to line it with butter if I already have parchment paper on it? I might, just to be safe. Alrighty, bakers, you tell me. Is it necessary to grease your parchment paper? I don't think so. But I'm going to do it just in case. Just to be safe, I don't want my first attempt at baking to be a total fail. So... Let's add our batter into the pan. So I'm just gonna pop this in the oven for 45 minutes. We're gonna take it out and once we cool it, we'll add some more honey and powdered sugar on top. So I will be back when it's all done. to say you guys the cake smells so good let's see what Alrighty, it looks like there she is i'm just gonna let it cool here for a bit before we add our powdered sugar and honey so we're just gonna let this cool for probably like 15 20 minutes but oh my gosh it smells so good like the honey and the wine it smells so good but yay Alrighty, guys i was editing some tiktoks and lost track of time so the cake should be all cooled down now so let's have a taste and garnish it with some honey and powdered sugar. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Right, so I just lifted it out of the pan with the parchment paper and that made it so easy. But it's still slightly warm, which I'm so excited about. So let's cover it with powdered sugar and some honey. 
Alrighty guys, I don't know if I ruined it, but my honey is actually at the point where it's all like crystallized, so I couldn't really like drizzle it. So I took some honey and I diluted it with water and I tried to make this little drizzle like design, but I'm just gonna cut myself a slice and see how it tastes. All right, so this is what the cake looks like. I'm just having a tiny slice because we have to have dinner. So let me see how it tastes. Okay, I'm just gonna pick it up with my hand. Ooh, there's like a big, okay, it broke off. There's like a big piece of fig right here. Let's try it. Oh my God. Am I lame and thinking this is so good? Mm. Oh my god. The texture is a little bready, I will say. Mm. It's probably because I didn't really follow the recipe. And I was kind of roguing it. Mm. I love how big the figs are. They have a really nice texture in the cake. You can taste the wine in there at the end. taste good because I like all the ingredients but definitely part of the clean plate club oh my god that is so good I hope you guys enjoyed baking with me and are inspired to bake whether it's this recipe or just baking in general especially if you're not normally a baker I feel like it's actually really easy and around the holidays it's like the perfect time you could bring this to like a holiday party as a potluck or make it as a gift you can bring a cake over um, you could freeze like individual mini ones if you want to make like mini little cupcakes and package them all cute and give them as gifts as well. If you need like a low cost gift idea, that'll be super cute. But we're just going to hang out. Okay. We're going to have dinner and hang out with the cats and I will see you guys tomorrow for the next one. Bye guys. Thanks for watching.